Hi, my name is Skylar, and about a month ago, I was doing a shoot with Dr. Nemeth, and we took a bacteria slide from underneath my gums to see what was going on on the big screen, and we found out that I had a very mild case of gum disease, which was a huge shock to me. You have an amoeba? No way. So you can see the difference between my slide, which was really good, Doreen's, which is pretty good, and yours, which is not so good. So I don't care if you if you have all your bone and your teeth are perfect. If you have parasites, you got to get rid of them. We decided that it would be best for me to do the Lynette procedure. So I was thinking about alternatives, just like I'm sure a lot of you guys are that might have gum problems, and I found oil pulling. So I thought, what better opportunity to try a little 30-day experiment? So after 30 days of oil pulling every single day, we were gonna do another bacteria slide and compare and see if the oil pulling actually helped cure my gum disease. So what I did was I would take a couple, I would take one tablespoon of oil every night, swish it around coconut oil for 20 minutes in my mouth, and it was just a huge pain. Like I would remember super late at the end of the night to do it and it just took a lot of time. The oil itself wasn't actually that bad. Coconut oil, I like coconut so it didn't taste awful. So one of the things I definitely wanted to do was make sure that I didn't change any of my other oral hygiene routines. I haven't been the best flosser. I don't floss every day. I probably floss once a week or so, but I do brush twice a day. So I kept my oral hygiene routine exactly the same. I didn't want to start flossing and brushing or water picking because then that might skew the results a bit. And I am very sad to report that I was very disappointed with the results from oil pulling for 20 minutes every day for I think it was 35 days. And I'll be honest, I missed maybe one or two days, but I don't really think that made a huge difference. Beforehand, I was pretty shocked by what I saw in my mouth, and then afterwards, I was really hoping to see maybe a little bit of a difference, but it seemed like a lot of the same bacteria that were there before, a month previously, were still there the other day when we took the last microscope slide. You're saying, okay, you're you know there shouldn't be anything. Look at, uh, look at what you got. Look at what you got. There is no improvement. None. When you got a spirochete, you know, there's no such thing as one mouse. Yeah, so this would be a great Look how for big that pulling. one is! Oh my goodness! So you can now stop the torture you've been going through for no reason. Look, look. Oh look, yeah, look, great. Look, 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 look. Oh. It didn't help at all because it, he didn't have many in the first place and he, yeah, he's, he has right as here. many as he had before. So could this be treated through scaling and root planing or is Lanap the only option? Scaling and root planing, probably temporarily, but if you want a permanent solution, you need to do what our patients do. So I've seen a lot of other oil pulling videos online of people that rave about it and they say that it works and I wasn't using it for teeth whitening or gum recession or any of the other things that some of you might be considering using oil pulling for. So I'm not so sure if it's gonna affect that for you, but I know in my instance, it didn't get rid of the bacteria or reverse any of the gum disease or gingivitis that I had previously. So all in all, it took up about 11 hours of my life over the last 30 days, which turned out to be a huge waste of time, and I think I am going to go through with the Lenap laser procedure. So I know Dr. Nemeth wanted to voice his professional opinion on oil pulling, so come on and uh, join me over here. Yeah, hi Skylar. Hey. <laughs> I sort of wanted to call this video the heartbreak of oil pulling or another title might be Oil Pulling, Fact and Fantasy. And in this case, it was fantasy and heartbreak. Yep. So he spent 20 minutes a day and actually it was 40 days because I was away for a f few days. And when I got back, he said, can we do that today? Because I can't stand this oil pulling anymore. It's 20 minutes a day. <laughs> I, really, I really, it's really major effort and he really didn't want to do it. Even if it was going to be solving his problem, it was a lot of effort and a lot of work. But we did take a slide, and the slide showed virtually no difference from what it was prior to the oil pulling, which I was actually surprised, because here he's spending 20 minutes a day vigorously flushing and rinsing out his mouth with coconut oil, one of the oil that's recommended for oil pulling, and it made absolutely no difference. Uh, so I was actually a little surprised. I thought there would be some improvement, but there really wasn't. So we are gonna do the 
Lenap laser procedure, which I'm sure will take care of his problem. And then we'll take another slide afterward and we'll see the difference. But we'd love to hear from you. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. We love comments, questions. We'll keep you up to date on everything that's going on in dentistry and beyond. So healthy mouth, healthy body. See you next time. Take care. Restore your smile and your health. Visit drnemeth.com to schedule your appointment today.